السلام علیکم ویلکم بیک ٹو مائی چینل ٹوڈے وی اسٹڈی اسٹڈی سم بیسک ایسپیکٹس آف ڈاپلرز ایوری ایکو ہیز گاٹ تھری بیسک کمپوننٹس نمبر ون کلینیکل ایوالویشنس نمبر ٹو اناٹامیکل ایوالویشنس اینڈ نمبر تھری ہیمو ڈائنامکس آل تھری آر امپورٹنس فار ایگزامپل and anatomical evaluations are 2D examination always gives rise to a semi-quantitative idea of a severity. For example, suppose in this case, apoiotic stenosis, the more calcified the well it is, the more the restricted uh, the opening and uh, the more the LVH. It indicates that possibly we are dealing with a severe stenosis. However, a full evaluation of the severity is by hemodynamics. We can see the dopplers, the hemodynamics of the, this patients as we see this is more calcified and more restricted opening and more the LVH. But here the velocity in the hemodynamics is approximately 1 meter per second. So, it always de uh, depends upon the hemodynamics and the dopplers. And the hemodynamics depends upon the uh, doppler examination. The doppler derives its name from an Austrian physician Christian Johannan dopplers who first describe the Doppler effects. Now the role of a Doppler is assessing the hemodynamics. However, a Doppler's record velocities and the velocities are converted into gradients by the formula for velocity square of Vernoll equations. Now it, if the velocities are incorrect, then your gradients will be also incorrect. Because the thing is always of a velocity. Then in a Doppler, we have all examinations, whether the con uh, conventional views or unconventional views. Our aim is in a Doppler study is always to get the maximum velocity. Now the Doppler is based upon on basically three factors. One should be a sound source and the sound source in this uh, is a tran transducer. This is the sound source. Whichever view you take in a 2D echo, the transducer is always pointing from above as the arrow headed. So there are two basic principles of Doppler. Any flow which is directed toward the transducer shown as a positive wave are above the shift uh, known as a positive Doppler shift as you see in the image. And any flow which is against the transducer angulations gives a negative Doppler shift are below the baseline as you see in this video. That is the that is a basic rule of a Doppler shift they is just opposite a 2D echo. In a 2D echo you get the best result when you are perpendicular to the structure while in a Doppler you get the best results when you are parallel to the flow. So that is why we always take both conventional and unconventional views to see a Doppler velocity of flow. Third thing that if you are not completely parallel to the flow, your velocity will be reduced. For example, if you are a maximum allowed about 15 to 20 degree of angle, which gives a maximum error in calculations. Otherwise, it should be as parallel as possible. Now, basically, the modalities of the Dopplers are pulse Doppler, a continuous wave Doppler, and a color Doppler. So a pulse Doppler contains just one crystal and it, get, it goes to sending and receiving impulses. 
and the idea of a pulse doppler is the advantage is that you can record at any particular site you want to study that is known as a simple volume now this is a four chambers view this is the left ventricular left atrium right ventricular right atrium and the mitral and tricuspid well is in between now whenever we record the velocity we take the help of a color flow mapping because of the color flow mapping tells you the direction of the flow exact now the pulse wave doppler in is like a simple volume so whenever you put a simple volume you record relatively only from that particular area so we normally record from the tips of the leaflets now the blood is going toward the transducer as you see the shift the, the doppler shift is above the baseline which is known as a positive doppler shift similarly we ta we will take aortic well and we expect a shift below the baseline because the blood is going away from the transducer here you see the shift will be basically below the baseline that is a negative doppler shift advantages of it is that if you are expecting a positive doppler shift as normal and you get a negative also means some blood is going away as you see in this video going away from the transducers that means there could be a regurgitations so once you know the normal flow pattern that where it is should be a positive doppler shift where it should be a negative doppler shift then you see what is normal or abnormal so the advantages of a pulse doppler is that it record a velocity from a particular site the basic take home message for recording a pulse doppler is that in which view that well is best seen and uh, am i pa parallel to the flow for example here you see this is the mitral well but we are not parallel to the flow we are perpendicular to the flow so the basic victim of a well pulse doppler is that in which scan place am i seeing the well am i parallel to the flow for example mitral well you can see west from the apical four chamber view apical three chamber view and apical two chamber view similarly tricuspid well you can see from inflow view you can see from short axis view apical view and subcostal view so these are some of the basic things however this uh, the disadvantages of a pulse doppler is that it record only a low velocity flow that is known as a nyquist limit that is the maximum me measurable flow which can be detected by a pulse doppler is known as a nyquist limit beyond that there is something known as an aliasing so aliasing means that we are beyond a particular direction for example you see the signal both above and below the baseline so that is known as aliasing which is uh, features are uh, of only pulse doppler so that aliasing can be removed by increasing the velocity scale as you see in the video so that is one thing which we always see and there are ways to remove this aliasing so the pulse doppler is usually used for recording uh, of low flow velocity across normal wells normal blood vessels finding out stroke volumes and for diastolic function assessment there we used a pulse doppler as compared to a pulse doppler as something known as continuous wave doppler and continuous wave doppler has got two crystal one crystal is receiving and one is transmitter 
Now the things of continuous wave Doppler is it records flow across the whole of Doppler line. There is no simple volume. So the advantages of this continuous wave Doppler is that it records very high velocity flow. So that means all disease flows like stenotic lesions, regurgitant lesions, wells areas, all of them are determined by CW Doppler because there is a no aliasing in it. First of all, we set our cells parallel to the flow and that is done by color flow mapping as you see in the video. So that we know which the flow is going there. Then we put CW Doppler. Now it is recording the flow across the whole Doppler line. But it, it depending upon which is and what timing is. We see systole or diastole. What direction of the flow we are seeing. Uh, we can pre presume that it is from the particular area. For example, I put the CW Doppler on the aortic well. Now we can that aortic wells has a negative Doppler shift because there, this is against to the probe. You see in the video. Number two, aortic well has got higher velocity as compared to any other structure in the left ventricle. Hence, we know although it records as a continuously from the whole Doppler line but it gives us an indications from where we can uh, recording it. So to summarize between the do these Dopplers, a pulse Doppler record low velocity flow, a CW Doppler record high velocity flow, a pulse Doppler record from a particular site known as a simple volume. There is no simple volume in relationship CW Doppler. There is aliasing in pulse Doppler when it goes beyond a certain Nyquist limit. There is no aliasing in CW Doppler because it records the high velocity. So these are the basic principle and these are the basic things. So remember whenever you want to study a disease flow you always take a CW. For the beginner, the best thing it is st start with a pulse Doppler and if you get aliasing, there are ways to reduce the aliasing by increasing the velocity scale or by coming to CW Doppler. So this helps is in the quantification of the every lesions and the advantages of Doppler is that in a large number of conditions. Now we don't know do any invas invasive study because a good eco examination with a Doppler gives us a complete anatomical and hemodynamic diagnosis. For example, various well lesions, many congenital lesions, we don't have to do cardiac catheterization because all information is given by a Doppler. The third thing is basically a color flow mapping as you know our basic aim is to always be as parallel to the flow as possible. Now sometimes the jits can be very eccentric if the jits are very eccentric you don't know where are you placing your Doppler and you may struggle it and never go never see where you are putting a Doppler to get the maximum velocity. So the color flow mapping is a new technology based on the principle of a pulse Doppler where you can see the actual blood flow. When you can see the blood flow you can automatically put your Doppler par parallel to the flow by a universal convention. The flow towards the transducer is shown in a red colors away from the transducer is blue color as you see in the video the red goes towards the probe and the blues away from the probe through the 
ಐಯೋಟ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಯೂನಿವರ್ಸಲ್ ಕನ್ವೆನ್ಸನ್ಸ್ ನೌ when you see only red and blue color how will you know where the disease is the beauty of this technology is that within few second it tell you where the disease process so wherever you see turbulence it and indicates that it is a disease process the turbulence is a mixture of color besides red and blue it was known as mosaic pattern and because it is based on pulse wave doppler so you can again see that some sorts of aliasing that means that the outer color is blue but the inner is red so that summarize a doppler gives you a complete hemodynamic information and complete quanti- uh, quantitative information you have as parallel to the flow as possible. Use all abnormal and normal views to get a maximum velocity for a normal blood flow. Use pulse doppler to localize the flow as a particular region. you use a high velocity records on cw doppler because the velocity which is usually meter per second and when you recorded the uh, that by a bernoulli equation for velocity square you can get all calculation in the in this i think this is a basic which i wanted to tell you to get so can practice and you see whatever you want to see further thank you for watching kindly subscribe my channel and stay with me